freezing, freezing cold this morning. It was actually last night was one of the coldest nights I think so far. <music> I think today I'm going to um, put the tiles in. I'm going to lay these tiles around this wash basin. But yeah, light coming through my bottle wall. I'm so close to being able to paint in between it. I can't wait. You can see when the light doesn't come through compared to when the light comes through. It's a pity I haven't got more of these blue ones. They are stunning. I need to try and find a metal bucket. Um, because the ash stays hot for more than 24 hours. <laughs> and I put it in the plastic buckets which is what they seem to sell around here. That's what happens. All this happens. Definitely need metal buckets. I appear to have sheep in my kitchen. Are you coming to look for me? Yeah, there's nothing to eat in here. Well, there's stuff to eat in the kitchen, but not for sheep. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing in here, Ruby, Ruby? Oh, here comes Henry and Betty. Now I've got three sheep in my kitchen. Goodness gracious. Golly gosh. Yes. After visiting me in the kitchen, look who's gone to visit the pigs. So after that very, very cold night and cold morning, the pigs have all picked like a different spot to lie and sunbathe and enjoy the sunlight. But in the meantime, the three intrepid travelers Standing on a rock in the pig pen. So the first thing I'm going to do with these tiles that I just placed here to see how it'll fit is to just clean off the cement on them and dust them off. Because even though I cover it with this, I don't know, it still manages to get cement mixed on. So we clean them off. And then I'm going to make up a um, tile mortar mix, tile cement mix. Put that down and lay the tiles. Cleaned off the tiles, uh, have my little spaces. So ready now to try and lay these tiles. Let's mix up some tile cement. myself wondering what did happen to the last 10 i ran away with my life fast forward never turned back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time the more we need to set the rewind and 19 was the year i had to leave you but now i'm seeing all the signs yes this tiling the vanity and um, now I have all of this mix tile cement I think I might use it to start um, on the floor because I don't want to waste it 
of course the floor not being level um not because of bad concreting or the boulder not at all the floor is not level because it's we've had to build it around these granite rocks that you can see over here so this does present its own challenges how this is going to happen but i'm going to sweep up some of the stuff first get it out the way and just start i think with the flatter areas you dancing around this pole at the moment with all the stuff stacked around that i'm busy with i feel like a bit of a pole dancer i mean look at me don't i just look like a pole dancer sometimes i think whether it's right or not you just have to start so i'm just going to start and we'll see what happens after i start so what you have to remember that in these old buildings like this one on the deed says was built in 1900 nothing is square so this even though the pyramids were built using all kinds of technology thousands of years ago we still don't know how they built the pyramids so um because we lack that knowledge, nothing in an old stone building is square. So for people who suffer from OCD, you might not want to visit my bathroom. Two tiles down. I don't know how, how much, if I have, I think I might have enough mixture for four tiles. But yeah, so at least I can do this part here with the little shelving bathroom shelving thing goes so i've used up all that um tile cement that i had mixed up um i'm not going to bother with spirit levels because it's not going to be level i can tell you now um because of these like all these you can see like that rock over there and um I'm not sure I'm going to do the rest of it. I might do it as like a mosaic, mosaic pattern. Um, yeah. But this is just one small section. This is like quite a big floor. So it's going to take quite a while. And especially with the, the boulders that I've got in the floor as well. It's going to make it more exciting. You know, as the anonymous plumber always says, nothing is simple at Bella Pedra. Typical. I have um, blocked myself in. So I've done some more of taking these bottle bricks apart, pouring the water out and letting them dry in the sun now. And yeah, in about a day or so, I should be able to tape them together and then finish off in this bathroom. You can see it's not much of it to do. I'm just sitting here looking. There's all these like little yellow flowers and there are so many bees on them. I wonder if they're mine or where they're coming from. The sheep are cleaning those raised garden beds for me. What's it, Betty? You've heard my voice. <coughs> <coughs> You've heard my voice. Another very frosty morning. You can see the frost on the ground. See the water in the trough is frozen this morning. Oh my goodness, I'm coming. This morning I'm braving the cold a little bit. Um, I'm going to be driving to Fundau. I need to get um, some more fruit and veg for the pigs. But the big thing I want to get is a metal bucket for the colds. 
um, that come from um, the wood burner. And I want to get a lime and an orange tree to plant down near the shed area. Um, those are my two goals for <laughs> this morning. Just dropped off the last of the straw over here. Um, I'll put in jelly beans house when I get back. Um, I really need to come and collect uh, some of this wood because it's awesome firewood and cut it up so that's going to be collected. So at Fundar Market I have got to get the hot coals out in a metal bucket. Lots of lovely wooden stuff there. To do. To do. Isn't this view just spectacular? Oh my goodness, the sheep have spotted me. I just want to come and check on the bees, see if they are still going with all this cold weather not very really active. There's one in the front and I've just seen one fly out. Oh, another one's just flown out. Not too many of them. So, don't know what's going on in there, but yeah. I've seen three bees. No, I don't see any. Oh my goodness, Betty. Yeah, this one keeps coming in and out. Can't make up its mind what it's going to do. Did a bee check the afternoon and the inside is filled. I have wood to collect on this top land as well. These piles of wood. There's some big logs up there as well. Oh, I can hear thunder in the distance. So I've bought the plant starts for my raised garden beds, but I've just suddenly had not thought. Guess who's probably going to come and eat them because someone's been munching on that cabbage plant over there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to come up with some plan to keep the sheep out of the raised garden bed. So I need to um, prep these beds now to take in these plant starts. I know I should have prepped the beds first and then got the plant starts, but the thing is the Fundal Market is only on a Monday and next Monday I'm going to be traveling again, so, yeah. I can pull out these, I can't remember if these were onions or leeks, but they've been in here so long I can pull them out. That cabbage can come out, go to the pigs probably, and this as well. What other soil to put in here? I've done some weeding, pulled out some of the older stuff. Um, those ones are just taking too long. My back is getting sore. Anyway, I've got some soil that I'm going to put on top. I've got a couple of potato plants down there, I see. This one, I think, over here is fennel. It's coming up again. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is put some kind of a barricade around so that the sheep don't get into you. But uh, where are they? Over there. Hanging around. Oh my goodness. You've taken the cabbage I put there that I was going to use myself. When I give you cabbage with your feed at night, you haven't even been eating it. 
But now it's come out of my garden that you've... Oh my goodness. Sheep. Chew with your mouth closed, Betty. I can't believe it. I was giving them these cabbage leaves and they wouldn't touch them. They lay there for ages. I eventually had to give them to the pigs. But look at this. Are they even eating the onions? You should be ashamed of yourselves. What are you doing? Oh, wait, I can see. Maybe I can still rescue that cabbage. Oh, my goodness. And now you're standing here and just pooing. Just eat the weeds. Leave the veggies. I really should put on gloves in our garden. But, yep, I've got a few more bags of soil which I will put in that side. When... Ever I utter those magical words, I've been thinking. Nick always tells me, Cindy, stop thinking. But jokes aside, I've been thinking. <laughs> Maybe if I put these, if these can fit in those blocks, I can maybe put them up and they and then put like shadow netting around it to keep the sheep out. I wonder if that can work. There is a chance this might work, although I don't think they are actually high enough. But this is putting Don the remains of Donald Dump to work. Um, yeah, if I just get, I need to probably get poles that are a little bit higher than this. But this is going to be a temporary arrangement anyway, because the plan is that I am going to fence in this area, like where these big, up to where these big boulders are, down to the big oak tree, to the side of the house, and this will be where the dogs will be, so that they can't go wandering around the neighborhood when they get back. But... To do this, it's going to require a lot of drilling because, as I've said before, this house is built on a granite slab, which you can see the exposed granite over there. So the level of ground here is probably about that much. Um, and then it's just granite. Yeah, but that's the plan is to... Um, fence this in. So this is a temporary arrangement and then the sheep won't be able to come into this area because this will be dog space. But this is just so I can put the plant starts in to the ground without the sheep thinking I'm planting feed for them. <sighs> Always something. There's a soft drizzle falling, but it's so nice sitting out here. Just yeah, chilling. Chilling in the soft drizzle. I'm not getting It's not enough to make one wet. I should actually take my firewood talking about things getting wet. Um, yeah, I'll be taking some firewood for tonight. Just looking at the pile of firewood over there. I've got a whole lot under cover, but I've been using this up over here. Just checking. They don't even budge, so that's good. I'm just checking around the wash basin. Don't budge either. <laughs>
Jelly Beans House, warm and toasty. Have some garlic that um, has started growing, ready to be planted in my raised garden bed. So yesterday I got five uh, fruit trees at the Fundau Market. Um, the aim is to put them around the raised garden bed area. I need to weed those there. Um, I got a mulberry, a blueberry, a feijoa, a lime and an orange tree. And then I got some vegetable starts and of course um, my metal bucket and little shovel for the fire, for the ash. <laughs> planting today and I my next thing is now to create a barricade to protect the plants from the sheep so I haven't let the sheep out today um, until I do have done the planting and then do the barricade and after after I'd grown all those seeds in that greenhouse and yeah, and then I went away, oh, this is now, what is this, like two years ago already? And yeah, the things just died when I was away. I gave all my seeds to Andrea from Project Portugal and I've decided I'm just gonna rather buy um, the plant starts from the Fundau market when I go. So I bought just enough to fill these two um, raised beds down here. I haven't bought for the other that I've still got to um, weed and prepare. These ones I had prepped. And yeah, just got to keep the sheep out of this. That's my challenge. I'm really enjoying my job smorgasbord and it's helping me to stay focused and get lots and lots of different jobs done, started, finished. It's always a work in progress. Bella Pedra. So I've hung this artwork. I can't get it to hang straight so it's skew which i suppose is like everything else this is one i painted in 2020 called find your voice yeah this was during the whole covid thing with masks and and the american election there and yeah i think that's what was all going through my mind when um i painted this 
some people have asked for a close-up uh, on my mugs this one is actually from uh, Finland it's a special finished design I can't remember what it's called but yeah so these mugs that I collect from Starbucks these are only my mugs from uh, September 2017 and um, all the other mugs that I collected from Starbucks from 2004 till August 2017 are in storage in Cape Town in boxes so yeah these are some of the places I've traveled to um, in the last, how many years would that be? <sighs> Six years? Going on seven years? Time to see if my new metal bucket is going to do the trick. And if, yep. Metal bucket, perfect size, fits just underneath the wood burner, and this, oh, it's still hot here, eh? ash is still hot, you can see it glowing inside. But I can definitely, oh, this makes it so much easier, and hopefully, it's not going to burn yeah. it's hard to believe look at that I could actually literally start another fire now and this is more than 12 hours since the fire was lit originally actually yeah this would be probably 15. So if this fire, the last coal, uh, wood I put on was 9 o'clock and it's now 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the next afternoon. Mm. It's amazing. This wood oven, this, these yurtles, fantastic. already brought in wood for tonight so one of the things I've done is I have revived my blog that I used to always um, write posts regularly I haven't actually done that for a little while so um, if you want to have a look at my blog the link for that is in the description below um, if you go back to even when I was in China and when I was in Tanzania there are some funny adventures that I had that might give you a laugh um, yeah so there's there's quite a lot of different stuff in that blog and uh, I've decided to start writing again I have to start writing again um, and you have to sort of get in before I start writing another novel um, I've got to sort of practice my writing again it's like you're not going to have an athlete that's going to suddenly run an Olympic marathon if they haven't trained so blog writing is a way to train for a novel if you can give the video a thumbs up comment below if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe really want to try and grow this channel and in the meantime stay sane stay safe and I'll see you on the next video